you are back with Rock to War Live. I told you today we are coming back after every five minutes. Mm -hmm. So make sure you're you're staying tuned. I'm telling you, we're gonna be sending love your way, sending you shout outs. But one thing you can do for me is represent your hood. We want to know which hood has the most rockers in Kenya. And we cannot do that if you're not tuned. So make sure you start on the Apart. hashtag uh, Rock Tour 254. That's correct. Remember eh? that. Which hood has the best rock? Fans after my hood. Uh, after come on, my. come on, come on. Really? What is your hood? We have to do this. Okay, yeah. What's your What's your hood? It's a good question. What's your hood? Uh, for if, if, security reasons. <laughs> 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 my director tells me I'm gonna carry your bangi. When you say carry your bangi, I'm trying to be angry, brother. Like in Nairobi, we carry your bangi. Nairobi, we say we Swahili, okay. Nairobi, English, okay. At we are kujaying, we are dying. And his English is just yeah, it's good. Like this is a way we belong to the world. We say we are okay. Sheng, we are not sheng original. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the show. Now make sure you set, you send out your shoutouts. Will be actually our. Uh, you know, send your shout outs and we'll be reading them out. But right about now, it's time for another interview right here. I told you. So many interviews like this. So, yeah, stay tuned to the show. Leo, I just want to extend Leo. I feel like we should go up to 7.30. Okay, let's I'm see. I'm at 8. Let's no, but we gotta be there in time for the show. So, 7.30, so that we have video. at least 30 minutes mm, to waste. It's just here. So, yeah. Okay, yeah so, so, 7.30. Yeah, we're here. We're not going anywhere. We are here for you. Now, on to our next interview. Yeah. Hi, guys. Welcome to the show. How are you doing? Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> doing quite good. Still yeah. excited. Um, yeah, we're super, super excited. Good to have you in studio. Kindly introduce yourself. Um, I'm Chris, drummer of Heaven Shall Burn. Mm. First time in Kenya, first oh, time oh. in Africa. Yo. No, he is lying. Jumbo. We never say that here. No <laughs> one says in Kenya, Hakuna Matata. But I've seen You've been misled. You've been <laughs> but I've seen it on t shirts. Uh, yes. A lot of people are having it. That's on what shirts. they sell. But it's the part is just what you're working. It, it was a song. But Kuna Metal. <laughs> yeah. Just that. Yeah, yeah metal, but metal. okay, uh, outside Kenya, that's what's sold most. But here, it's supposed to be how you say hi, but we never say that. Okay. When was uh, the last okay. time you said Hakuna Matata? Me? Yeah. Just, was it Wednesday when I was at Carnival? And you, why would you say that? Yeah, because uh, <laughs> some tourists. Uh, yeah, see? And they were like, they say for the tourists, yeah. Tourists. They were like, Hakuna Matata, yeah, Hakuna Matata. Here we say, like, just like I told um, Revenge, we say Niaje and then you say poor. That's yeah. basically how oh. you say hello, right? Yeah. yeah, but Rico has been in Kenya, so... Hello guys, yeah, I'm yeah, Rico from the Hot Quail Foundation. Yeah, just, just <laughs> another, another three more years is Kenya now. Find, yeah. Find him a Kenyan name. <laughs> Instead <laughs> like taking his face and then let's look. No, you know him better. So based on now uh, on who he is, what mm -hmm. ca what kind of name suits him? I'm we should give him right I now. I know he's in Nakuru. No, that's the problem. Mm -hmm. So we can we can call him Jorogo or something. We can't say Jorogo. Nakuru is more metropolitan. So we're still looking into that. Oh, we're still looking into so that. To Jorogo. Zuki and Jorogo. Jorogo. We need we need uh, we need. Uh, if he loves money, does he love money a lot? Uh, if he, <laughs> if he loves money a lot, you'll be on your own. Uh, <laughs> I love metal. He yeah, loves should, Ooh. Yeah, metal. Something Ugali. metal. Uh, Ugali. Like no, I can see him. Are you sure? Yeah, Akisi okay, Akisi we're going to be looking for the name. We'll yeah. get you a Kenyan name. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, can you introduce yourself to the guys at home who are seeing you for the first mm -hmm. time? Hello, guys. I'm Rico from Hardcore Health Foundation. I'm a charity from uh, Germany. Mm -hmm. And um, we have a few projects. One of them is promoting the metal scene in uh, Kenya. Right. And uh, uh, organizers from Nairobi Metal Fest this weekend. Yes, I. Okay, we're gonna be talking about that. But first things first, let's talk about uh, hardcore help. How did that come about? Uh, that's quite a uh, long time ago. What, 2011, mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. started mm -hmm. um, when the tsunami happened in uh, Japan. HHF, right? Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. We started uh, helping a school and. Mm -hmm. uh, that kind of yeah uh, got bigger and mm -hmm. uh, in 2012 we started first projects also in in kenya ah so how did you guys find yourselves in kenya and how long have you been active in kenya because i know you're not just in kenya alone oh, we're now active around seven years 
Wow. Yes. So, um, what do you guys actually deal with? Apart, okay, apart from let's put metal aside. What is Hardco Help all about? I know it's uh, an unprofit organization, but right. what do you uh, deal with specifically? Well, Hardco Help Foundation was founded actually in this music uh, community, mm -hmm. uh, metal hardcore, and uh, it started with uh, collecting merchandise. Uh, mm -hmm. People can come to shows where we are with the boot and uh, the merchandise we sell, mm -hmm. and 100% of the sales goes into projects. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, we have several projects. We're helping homeless people in Germany. Oh. Uh, we're helping a school in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. uh, in Kenya, we're working with um, water companies or uh, the maintenance uh, companies who uh, repair uh, water wells. Uh, also, we work together with an organization in Akuru who focusing on disability work. All right. uh, we have a, a project where um, we collect wheelchairs in Germany oh. and we bring them to Kenya and then uh, okay. provide them to families who can afford a wheelchair. That's really amazing, Rico. <laughs> now, you as Rico, what got you involved? Uh, what what touched your heart? Like, how do you get, how do you find yourself here now, the Hardcore Health B Foundation? You know, like, um, it's not just every day you find people doing, yeah, you know. The and there's you the guys for I Am Raven, which <laughs> double visited. <laughs> exactly. At what point in your life do you decide, like, you know what, I'm just going to go out there, help people, and just do this, well, not to get paid, but just because I like doing it. So It came, actually, mm -hmm. it was never planned. It was mm -hmm. actually a spontaneous idea. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I've been working in factories or for companies uh, more than 20 years and it's right. actually always the same. Mm -hmm. uh, boss tell you what to do and I don't know, uh, <laughs> somehow I, I had hobbies, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's like now it is. And, um, I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. I had a hobby: uh, booking shows, concerts, setting up uh, concerts, and I don't know. The uh, tsunami happened, and my friends were involved. Oh, and uh, so I don't sad. know. It came up like, let's do some, give something back for our friends, and right. uh, that worked out very well. And mm -hmm. that's why. We keep doing it because it have it got some more meaning uh, to mm -hmm. give something back. That is actually a little bit how it how it started, wow. to to do something to give something back. Yeah, to giving back to the community and yes. not just in Germany. You've extended. You're now here in Kenya and in other countries. Yes, that is really dope. You know, and he is a rock star and. A metal head for that matter, you know. I love for Jonas Mangapati. Oh, see rockers, that's the bad guys. Guys. You know, no, no rockers ain't bad guys. guys. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see what we do. I even it's not in Nairobi, in, in Nakuru. In Nakuru. Which is like he is going beyond. You know, he's based in Nairobi. He, you're based in Nairobi, yeah? No, I'm based in, in Germany. Oh, yeah. he's based in Germany, but he helps people in Nakuru. Also, not just also. And Kitui. Oh, look at that. Oh, Beyond Kitui. Nairobi, that Kitui is has, uh, so deep, yeah, yeah. Kitui has a lot of water problems. It's yeah, very dry. Yeah, that is know, very uh, true. Yeah. A lot of yeah. wells. It's very humid. Mm. Water, very humid. Yeah. 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 All right. So, okay. Before we come back to the guitarist, when I talk to, to oh, the drama. drama. Sorry, sorry. Just my, my name bad. reminds my me of a guitar. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. let me finish with Rico first, then we're going to be coming back to you. So, Rico, who, how do you know who to support genuinely? Because sometimes you find that there are these organizations that come yes. up, and then you care. actually give them funding, but it doesn't get to the ground. It doesn't get to the people who actually need it. So how do you make sure the people that actually require those things you provide get to them? Well, uh, I meet those people personally. Mm -hmm. I only work with organizations or with companies who I also know personally. Yeah. I don't donate to any big organizations yeah. because I know they're probably lost in big administration costs. Mm -hmm. uh, we work with very, very small charity mm -hmm. um, and we work with very small organizations or company who also, where I know, mm -hmm. It goes directly to the people. Right. That is really dope. Now, let's come back to music now. Okay. Metal. Back to the metal scene. What got you involved in the first place, uh, especially here in Kenya? This is not the first. This is Africa. Kwanza, first of all, um, there's Nairobi Metal Fest, and then this, this is Africa. Yeah, this year, what happened? This year, we didn't have it. What happened? I don't know. In 2015, Mm -hmm. um, I've been coming to Kenya for a few years then, mm -hmm. and in 2015, coincidentally, I found on the Facebook yeah. a band from Kenya, uh, last year's strategy, LYT. Yeah, yeah LYT. Like, yeah. Wow, 
how can it even happen? And I met up with those, these guys in my next trip, and mm -hmm. this guy was so awesome. And yeah. we spent some time together. And mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, we started talking about putting up a show. Mm -hmm. And uh, in 2016, we did a show in Marabu. Uh, yeah. We had a few bands with Parking Lot Grass, Rock of Ages, and LYT. And that was, that was massive. That was so awesome. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. And uh, I don't know. It was uh, kind of cool to do it. Uh, to do it again and yeah. again. But okay, so this year, at least we have our uh, Nairobi Metal Fest, but we don't have this is Africa. So will it be coming back maybe next yeah, year? Yeah, different. This Africa Fest is going back. Yeah. Oh, it's coming because back. Because um, it's not easy to set up shows in Nairobi. Yeah. That is what, uh, what Nairobi needs. Nairobi mm -hmm. needs more clubs yeah. who understand metal and rock. Right. Uh, it's, um, that's why we're always a little bit struggling to get find the right direct, uh, yeah. clubs. Yeah. Right. And um, we, we've been, we had shows before, yeah. but it, it didn't work out on the long term. Oh. Mostly because customers were complaining that the music was too loud. Too loud. So yeah. I don't know. Uh, I hope for the future that yeah. clubs it in Nairobi are more open-minded for rock music and metal. Because and everyone so comes to the shows yeah. are having yeah. a good time. Exactly. Let's say we're here to take yeah, rock yeah. mainstream. We're going to play yeah. rock on TV yeah. until they get used yeah. to it. Yeah. <laughs> until they, they, yeah. <laughs> You've got to listen. Mm -hmm. No, but anyway, not, it, not that way. When you put it that way, it's something really awful. But it's actually good music. You know, people hate what they don't know. But the moment they start to understand, you start attending shows, then you actually true, understand. Yeah. Like, rock is actually a good genre. Of, it's, it's, it's just like any other music, and it has its fun. A so rocker is always a rocker, you know. He's, He's yeah. like he is. It's it's not like he's not pretending. Yeah. It is the best music. <laughs> it is rock, the founders. There's rock and then this other kind of music. Ah, okay. He said it. What he said. <laughs> All right. So metal fest. How do you even decide who who's gonna play and uh, who who's coming, who's not? Uh, I'm Revenge. I just ask them if they want to come because mm. there's a lot of bands in Europe who want to come too. Yeah. And uh, bands who come to Kenya, they sponsor their trip themselves. You know, mm -hmm. it's not that Harco Health Foundation founds it. Mm -hmm. Bands who come here, they do it uh, themselves. And mm -hmm. uh, Okan, I asked him if he wants to come and he said, yeah, let's do it. And uh, that's why uh, I am, I'm Revenge is on the bill this year. Yeah. And uh, it goes the same with the previous bands. All for nothing, stick to your gun, straight from the path. Yeah. They were really excited uh, to hear that there's actually a, a scene here in, in Nairobi. In Nairobi and so, yeah. Because these bands are playing everywhere yeah. and uh, they never get the chance to play in Africa or in, in right. Kenya, for example. Mm -hmm. That uh, it's for a lot of bands, it's, it's really interesting to know what, what is this, uh, yeah, learn the culture, uh, mm -hmm. what is it about. And cool. so, uh, yeah, um, bands approach me and if it works out well, uh, bands come together on the bill uh, actually all right that's amazing now we can go to the drama <laughs> finally <laughs> the drama with the name of a guitar yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bad guitar. Bad guitar. okay so <laughs> all right so we've talked to rico so much yeah. maybe you should just reintroduce i feel like he should reintroduce himself right Again. Maybe. yeah just i'm one, still one chris <laughs> Still drummer of Heaven Shall Burn, still mm -hmm. the first time in Kenya, still the first time in Africa. Yeah. And enjoying it since day one. Awesome. We're so grateful. Thank you so much for well, coming. Day one was a little bit difficult. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was so excited. Yeah. <laughs> he's true. Like <laughs> 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 but I, I, have to say <laughs> I have to say I had some problems during my flight oh. because yeah. I missed the connection flight. That's why the, yes. that's why the drum Our workshop tool. is tomorrow yeah. and uh, didn't happen last uh, Saturday. Yeah. Actually, we were expecting you last Saturday. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah. I arrived like last Saturday, but yeah. quite late. And yeah. um, so we had to uh, reschedule the drum workshop. Right. But he's right. When I first uh, arrived at the apartment, I was like, yeah. what's happening <laughs> over here? The travel from the airport to the apartment was just like, oh. <laughs> well, but here's a question like, I yeah. love to ask people. Like, um, it's your first time in Kenya and yeah. in Africa. What's the biggest misconception about, Ke about Kenya out there? What's the what did you have in mind? What did you picture Kenya like? And then when you got here, like, oh, it's not actually like that. What's the biggest misconception? Um, especially in Nairobi itself. <laughs> um, like, like I said, the ride from the airport mm -hmm. to, uh, to Roisambu, where, oh. where we stay at the moment. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, I expected it to be more like an huge international mm -hmm. city. Like you uh, go like, yeah, you have yeah. highways with like <laughs> six, yeah, six lanes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, 
we drove by and it was like so many people everywhere. So it's like they're burning <laughs> stuff just ar around the corner, burning stuff everywhere and <laughs> selling stuff. And it was like overwhelmed by, by, yeah, by all the people. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I had to learn after two or three days that mm -hmm. everybody, everybody's really friendly and uh, helping you around. Yeah. But the first, the first view was, was like, wow <laughs> that's a lot a lot to take all right okay nairobi. but welcome to nairobi it, people are really nice we are nairobi, everybody loves everybody yeah. i would love to imagine that's just what i think but <laughs> don't go there thinking like uh, everybody's like that i'm just saying we are nice at least here on the show we are nice and our viewers at home are nice yeah oh and uh, rico <laughs> rico is nice rico is kenyan now <laughs> <laughs> Rico is Kenyan, right? He has to get a, a national ID and vote in, the, in 2022. He has to vote. You know, you know. I'm moving to Kenya. Ah, yeah. look at that. <laughs> Wife. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> by the time you, okay, by the t by the end of the night, we'll have a Kenyan name for you. Don't yeah. worry. So oh, well, that's a project you're working on. Oh. <laughs> All right. So um, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just somebody laughing. Yeah, yeah upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody's just super excited. <laughs> but yeah, everybody's excited about it. But, but he's he, he's um you ha he has a happy face, so it's oh, it's like yeah, he's always yeah. smiling. So <laughs> all right, so so let's do this. Tell us about our you are a drummer. Yeah. So how do you even become look you know like we're in a band and there's a, like a guitarist and then there's but drummers I think that most times they are underrated a little bit. Thank Just you. Not a little bit. Like because someone people talk to about the guitarist a lot yeah. and the vocalist and then the drummers. You don't talk to when guys like, Oh you're a rocker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're always like the guitar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> who's no, who's doing the beat? The drummer is. Yeah. yeah. You know? But yeah. So what got you interested into that? How did you even get started? Um I have a brother who's five years older than I am, yeah. who already played drums. Oh. So we already had a drum set in our basement. Wow. Uh, yeah, that was, okay, quite easy. <laughs> that is a, yeah, that is a and uh, my best friend at the time had an older brother who was playing guitar. Oh. So we were meeting in our basement because the guitar is easier to carry oh. around. <laughs> <laughs> um, and as the two of us already mm. had one guitarist. I had to play drums. Oh. I mm. wanted to play guitar as well. I, uh, but I, I was the, uh, the guy with the drum set, so I had to, oh, to play drums. We started to cover uh, bands like uh, Danzig. Mm -hmm. Tried to cover Slayer around that time, like Seasons in the Abyss, yeah, okay. the slow, yeah. uh, yeah. the slow songs. Um, then I got to my first band when I was around 12, 13, something like that. Um, just got, got asked by local guys if I want to join because drummers have been quite raw about yeah. that time. Yeah. Um, so here I am playing drums for about 31 years now. <laughs> <and> <laughs> wow, uh, <laughs> that is a long time. Yeah. And you know, um, for vocalists, most of the time yeah. you hear like, you did you go to music school to study? Like, uh, you know, t for you to get better, you need yeah. like a music teacher and stuff. So did you go to a drum school? Your brother just taught you and you picked it up. From uh, there? Neither both of it. My brother was like, yeah, I show you something like on the pillows, mm -hmm. like the first baby steps, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm, instead I'm self-taught. We just rehearsed a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, when, we, when we started uh, with the first band, we rehearsed like twice or three times a week. Wow. Um, had the drum set in the basement, so we, yeah, I always was listening to music, trying to cover it, trying to uh, play the songs, learn the songs and get used to them. Right. Um, so that's basically it. I think I had like three, three drum lessons in my life. <laughs> around, around that from a guy uh, in Berlin when I was like 35, 36. Um, wow. And he got me to the, to the basics as well. And I felt like I played drums my first day. <laughs> Just trying the basics. <laughs> and I was like, oh, damn it. I know how to play, play double bass. I know how to play like 250 BPM and something like that. But wow, that's and then good. and then the <laughs> basics were like, damn it. <laughs> they like, yeah, it's yeah. really hard. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. All right, so um, 
I, I know like just just like guitars or even drums are also different so what kind of drums are you like do you specifically play or drum sets are they called drum sets yeah, okay, yeah. so drum sets what, what, what um, kind do you play over the years I got used to a double bass drum kit uh, yeah. with uh, around five toms mm. um, got a sponsorship for a long time now and um, so I have to play that company <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, yeah, it's basically um, the type of music recommends to have a double bass kit. Mm -hmm. Not only by the looks of it, some drummers ha just have a double bass kit for the look wow. of it. Um, but I have to say, uh, sound-wise and playing-wise, it really helps to have a, have a double bass kit. Are. And also, one thing I understand that um, Especially rock bands, mostly mm. they like uh, they like share like probably maybe guitarists yep. and drummers. Do you do that? Do you like maybe sometimes play for a different band that isn't mm. yours? Um, I did some studio jobs for some yeah. bands, some yeah. stand-in jobs for single shows for tours over the years. Mm. Um, that's how I got into the band, right? Uh, because I was a stand-in drummer for Heaven Shall Burn uh, since two thousand six, wow. right? Um, when the original drummer started to have some some issues, some personal issues, some uh -huh. um, then I kept being a stand-in drummer mm -hmm. until things didn't change, and I've been a full-time member since 2013 now. Oh. And in between, I always did different things. <coughs> All right. uh, always was like uh, I've been in Japan, recorded uh, a record for a Japanese hardcore band, then. Uh, doing some metal, uh, some metal bands in Germany. Just got asked if I will do a tour in December for another band because oh, we are starting, uh, restarting with Heaven Shall Burn in March 2020. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. And in between, it's like wow, doing things like this, <laughs> oh, flying to Kenya, doing yeah, yeah jobs for other bands, yeah, travel. That's, that's really amazing. But so um, tell us a little bit about yeah. your band, Heaven Shall yeah. Burn. Tell, tell us about that. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are now around since '96, I guess. What? what? Um, we just took two <laughs> years off to do a new record that uh -huh. comes out in March 2020. Um, we just talked about uh, maybe playing here as well. Mm -hmm. um, that's why. That would be awesome, haven't you? That would be amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that would be amazing. The thing is, we are now um, mixing and mastering the new record just oh. just right now. Two guys of us are in Denmark mixing and mastering. Mm -hmm. Um, so we couldn't do it, and I'm like the guy who's checking out. How oh. is it over here? Like oh, I getting out back to scene. Rico. I know yeah. Rico about, uh, I guess, 15 years now when he was doing local shows in, wow. in Essen. Uh, when he uh, started Hardcore Help Foundation, uh, we started to meet uh, more often at festivals, club shows somewhere, uh, supporting each other on different occasions. Mm. And then. Um, yeah, uh, with Heaven Shall Burn, we always try to do something like supporting uh, charities, like supporting also Sea Shepherd, uh, local soccer teams, uh, the left wing scene in Germany, Europe, um, doing all the political stuff and uh, work on a lot of a lot of uh, discussions, uh, doing social activities oh. and. Being yeah. active, being active. Yeah, really oh, yeah, all right. Um, I, that's yeah. the good thing about Heaven Shall Burn that we yeah. have uh, a common sense in the band about politics, uh, our our uh, our diet, everything. We we stick together. Oh, all right. So um, uh, you're here for mm. an event. Yeah. Tell us about the event and the venue. And uh, are there any charges? Nope, uh, yeah. I don't know much about the venue because uh, mm. he booked it. Oh, but right. um, maybe the, the blues, the, the blues. blues. Oh, the blues, right here in town. Yeah, yeah. 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 Buckley's Plaza. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah, it's a drum workshop. It's for free tomorrow. Yeah. So if you are a drummer in Kenya and you have time tomorrow, you come at two o'clock to the blues. Ah. and he will teach you some uh, some some stuff. Some yeah. yeah. All right. Um, yeah, the reason why I'm doing it, uh, we have been talking about this trip. And uh, he asked me, how long do you going to stay? And I was like, yeah, maybe around two weeks, something like that. Mm -hmm. Want to be at the festival. Yeah. Um, I'm sponsoring a kit in Nakuru as well that oh. we met on Monday. Mm -hmm. So we went there as well. 
so I learned about the matatu as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of tough for me. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And then we were talking. Uh, okay, what else are you are you supposed to do? Let's let's try to think of some stuff. And then he was like, Yeah, you can do a DJ uh, DJ set at Nairobi Metal Fest mm -hmm. as well that I will do tonight. Awesome. Um, and then I was like, Yeah, I'm a drummer of a metal band at a metal festival. Uh, all so right. why not doing a drum workshop? And he was like, yeah, let's try to find a venue, let's try to find a, a, a drum set. And I was like, okay, I did this before. I don't and know what to expect. I don't know how so many people will show up. Just hold that thought. We're going to take a very short commercial break just about now and we're coming back to why now? All right. Seems like we talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, uh, yeah, uh, it's seven and they have to run some. Y254 Imagine. Oh, well, all right, we, we are back. Right. And just like that, we are back. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. All right. We are back just like that. Thank you so much for coming through, guys. Now, before we let you go, Rico, where can people find your uh, foundation if they're looking maybe to help you, uh, maybe with the funds, or maybe to just come out and support well, some of your work? Easy to find How do on they Facebook, do that? Hardcore mm -hmm. Health Foundation, mm -hmm. or uh, in Twitter, HHF, mm -hmm. or Instagram, Hardcore Health Foundation. You right. type it in, and you easily find us. Oh, oh all right. And uh, Chris Bass. <laughs> Same here, mm -hmm. just as the uh, I Am Revenge guys said, Google, Heaven Shall Burn, always <laughs> Instagram, Heaven Shall Burn, official, f uh, on Facebook it's Heaven Shall Burn, official, Yeah. just have a look and try to find your social media account you're also sharing and uh, All right. leave us a message. Alright, let's do that guys, make sure you check them out, that is, uh, that is at our HHF, right? And that is also at Heaven in Shalban. That's where you connect with them, yeah. keep talking to them. And I, right here on the show, the hashtag is Rock254 at Rock254 on Twitter and Facebook. We're going to take a very short musical break and we are coming back with more show. Stay here. We're not going anywhere, right? We're here until 7.30, so make sure you stay.